it's been feeling like fall in the Miami Valley, and it's certainly starting to look that way as well. When we take a look at our uh, parks across the Miami Valley, according to the Ohio Department of Natural Resources, they are all beginning to change. Not near peak quite yet, but as we head into the next week, week and a half, we're going to be falling into that peak foliage season. It was a little bit delayed because we had those warmer temperatures a little bit longer as we were moving into the fall season, so that set us back a bit. So most of the Miami Valley will be hitting peak fall foliage around October 27th and maybe coming a little bit closer to that peak time frame as we get into early November. If you get the chance to go out and check some of the fall color out, make sure you send a photo to us here. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We love showing them here on Channel 7. I have a couple of them for you tonight. This is from Mackenzie Miller and she was out capturing some photos. This is at Hills and Dales Metro Park and you can see some oranges, some reds. Notice there is still some green leaves out there and that's why we're considered changing, not necessarily near peak. Here's another fall foliage photo from Stan Gein. He says he's loving the uh, crystal clear blue skies as it's enhancing the colors in this photo, and it sure is also seeing a lot of reds and yellows and oranges. Now, Stan's always sending in some great photos, and he took another one this morning, not necessarily of the fall color, but the frost that we had tis the season that we start talking about frost advisories and potentially we'll be dealing with freeze warnings in the near future. But notice the ice crystals that formed on this green leafy plant early this morning, waking up tomorrow morning to similar conditions because temperatures once again are going to be falling back into the 30s. Because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a frost advisory that goes into effect at 3 o'clock in the morning and lasts through about 10 a.m. across the Miami Valley. Notice just to our, or to our east, though, it's expected to get even colder as a freeze warning has been issued out towards central Ohio near Columbus and just north of Chillicothe. So if you're going to head that way tonight, just keep in mind it's going to be a little bit colder than here at home. A live look outside. This is in Miami Township at Austin Landing. We have plenty of sunshine as we're finishing out your Friday afternoon. Temperatures right now sitting at 60 degrees. Some spots already falling into the upper 50s. And we're going to quickly fall now that we're getting closer to sunset and once we lose Lose the sun. We're going to be back down through those 50s very fast. 55 degrees if you're headed to some touchdown seven football games tonight around kickoff. Make sure you dress warm before you go. Bring a blanket with you, perhaps a hot drink because we're going to be falling through those 50s by halftime or at 52. 48 degrees around the final play of the game. Through the night, we continue to drop from those 50s to the 40s and waking up tomorrow morning in Dayton at 38 degrees with some colder spots outside of the city. If you're going to be attending the Haunted Classic Tournament this weekend, Saturday's games, well, will be at 38 around sunrise. The games start at 830. At 4 o'clock, we reach a high of 70 degrees, then cooling back into the 60s as we get towards the end of Saturday's games. Then on Sunday, a little bit better, 48 in the morning, 73 for our high, and then once again back into the 60s for the evening. Monday, we will be tracking some rain that moves in with a few thunderstorms, and those storms also move in with some rather gusty winds. Winds. may not necessarily meet severe, severe limits, but when you see wind gusts that are as high as 40 miles per hour, that could create a few tree limbs to come down and perhaps some power outages as well. Before those storms get here, we warm into the 70s. Then the cold front passes by on Monday with those strong winds and storms. We'll be back into the 60s for the early and middle part of next week. So here is your Dante Dilemma's question for today. What is the distinguished feature of a supercell thunderstorm? Is it a shelf cloud, an anvil, or a mesocyclic? Uh, mesocyclone and the actual answer is mesocyclone so 23% of you got it right.